Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bernie here bringing you yet another video here on the chart, giving you the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinions. And before we get into today's topic, talking about a potential rule change that could impact the NBA in a negative and positive way, go and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Also, go and check out our awesome content that we have out there. I have a video talking about Steph Curry and what an amazing performance he had in Game 2 of the NBA Finals, shooting nine threes for an NBA record for threes in a final game. And also go and check out our Fixer Uppers on the New York Knicks and Phoenix Suns. But enough about me talking about this. Now we got to talk about what the NBA is reportedly trying to do, and that is experiment with the challenge flag during summer leagues to review close calls. Obviously, the Summer League and the G League games are really experimental in terms of when they want to add new things. The NBA is obviously going to do it for this league's first to see if it can work in the NBA or if it can't work. So this is what it says. The NBA will reportedly take a page out of NFL's playbook during the annual Summer League next month. According to a report from Sirius XM Radio's Justin Tremaine, he was told by Kiki Vanderway, who's the current league's executive vice president of basketball operations, that the league will experiment with the challenge flag during summer league games. The article then goes on to say that, of course, these are already systems in place for referees to review close calls, but these are pre predetermined by the established set of parameters. There are currently no options for a coach or team to ask for review outside of what's in the rule book. And I think, like I talked about in the video where I talked about the refs ruining game one, I think you're opening up Pandora's box here. Uh, the reason why challenge flags work so well in the NFL is because the game has a pace that's already set. It's not a continuous back and forth pace. With the NFL, you run a play, you have 30 seconds to call the next play. So there's obviously some times in between each play, which means that it's a lot slower than it would be with the NBA where it's consistently going back and forth, especially if the ref decides not to call any fouls, the game can go on almost like a soccer match or football for my European guys out there where they can continuously go back and forth until a foul is called. So I think this is a very, very interesting idea. I think it's a very bad idea. And like I said, you set a president now. So for example, let's say uh, NBA star LeBron James, you know, he's notorious for traveling to, according to some fans, let's say, you know, LeBron James traveled in a situation. Are we now going to see a uh, coach like Steve Kerr or Mike D'Antoni throw their challenge flag like an NFL coach would and just be like, hey, I want to challenge that. I think he traveled. That to me is what's going to be happening to the NBA if you do implement this rule. Obviously, I don't think they're going to get as petty with it if they do implement this rule for the NBA, but I think we're going to have to take a wait and see approach, especially with this new rule that's going to be implicated in the NBA Summer League. I want to see how it works in the Summer League. I want to see coaches that are there, see if they just throw a challenge flag or if there's like a button they press or so, whatever it is. I don't know what it's going to be, but I want to know the exact rules and what can and cannot be challenged. Can you challenge a travel? Can you challenge a clean strip like LeBron James had on Kevin Durant? Can you change the, let's say my player got hacked. Is there something that you can call out there and then another thing is there something that let's say my player travel like like another player travel are you able to challenge that like I said you're opening up Pandora's box and I think this finals game really opened up a lot of eyes to the casual fans but also the hardcore NBA fans that didn't really know about this rule until we just found about it in, in the NBA finals game so this is just going to be an interesting thing for the NBA to really see I mean let's say for example I mean there's stuff that you that are judgment calls and there's stuff that are definitive. So for example, you can challenge if a guy is out of bounds or not. You can challenge if, uh, let's say in football, for example, you can challenge whether or not it's a touchdown if he has two feet in bounds in the end zone, whether, you know, other than he's juggling the ball. I mean, there's just so much stuff that you can definitively say in the NFL that works. And like I said, it's the pace of play. The NFL is a lot slower than the NBA in terms of pace. So you're easily able to challenge it and it doesn't dis disrupt the flow of the game compared to the NBA where it just kind of kills the momentum. I think momentum is a really big thing in the NBA, especially, you know, in soccer as well. Football, like I said, for my European fans, it's a really big momentum thing. If you change the momentum of a game, let's say, for example, you just decide to challenge the play because Kevin Durant got an and one dunk and then all of a sudden it changes to a charge on Matt. Matthew Delavadova because he stood in front of Kevin Durant. That's going to be huge and that's going to be a really bad thing for the NBA, especially on those charge calls. Those are really judgment calls. They're not calls that are definitive. Some refs can see it as a charge. Some refs can see it as a block. And that's the thing that is really different about the NBA than the NFL. There are stuff that are more definitive in the NFL than there are in the NBA. Clean strips, of course, are another thing that are very big judgment calls. I mean, we saw the ones against Kevin Durant. He got the foul 
called for him. So that means that he took advantage of it. And, you know, in some cases, other refs would say, nope, that's a clean strip. So those are very big judgment calls. And I don't like the fact that we're now going to be experimenting with that by having players or coaches, I should say, challenge the play. Is it going to be another thing too if a player wants to challenge the, the ruling on the court? Let's say Draymond Green used the offhand. You know, using the offhand is really a no-no in the NBA. Are we just going to start challenging that now? Are we going to start challenging the minuscule and the tiniest things in the NBA, which will lead to a bad, bad precedent for the NBA in terms of having a challenge review system in place the only things i think you should be able to challenge are is the guy out of bounds is the guy in the restricted area i know that's a thing that's a really big issue but i do agree that you probably should challenge if it's in the restricted area and who it touched off last i mean those are definitive definitive and also you know if a guy got the shot off the the shot clock and also did he get it off before the buzzer that's going to be those are the definitive things that i think you can challenge but the other stuff i'm not a big fan of i'm not a big fan of what the nba is trying to do here I know, I know that, like I said, I talked about the NBA one day taking over the NFL, but this is not the way to do it. You don't do it with the replay system, especially in a sport that doesn't call for it as it does in the NFL and also in football in Europe where you can challenge the, the ruling to see if it was a goal or not or if it was a penalty or if a guy was offside. Those are definitive. Meanwhile, in the NBA, there are calls that are judgment calls by the refs. And that's why I think the NBA is so much fun and so interesting is because there are judgment calls. Some fans will say that's a block. Some say will say that's a charge. Like we talked, like there was a huge discussion going on in that refs ruined the NBA game one video that I had out. There was a lot of discussion and I like that. Another thing I forgot to mention also is the fact that we can now challenge these lane violations, especially in terms of free throw lines. I mean, we see a lot of players break this rule all the time. And it's just going to be interesting to see now, let's say, for example, if a coach is like, hey, those guys are not in the free throw line as soon as the shot goes off. And a lot of players don't do that and the refs don't call it because it's so minuscule and it doesn't really matter. But now that we have this new replay system that could be potentially in place, could we now see a situation, especially in closed games, where these coaches are like, hey, his foot was inside the paint before my guy released the shot. Let's make sure that that's looked at so we can get an extra free throw. That's the type of thing that is also going to be implemented and it's going to teach the guys, especially the NBA players that have gone accustomed to not really uh, getting in trouble for that rule. I mean, that happens rarely that that rule is ever like called. But still, I mean, there's going to be a lot of that stuff as well. Also with the grabbing, like, hey, my player got grabbed. Is that a foul? There's just so much rules in place and I just wanted to add this a little bit before I decide to sign out. But let me know in the comments down below. But if you decide to put in this rule, it's going to change all that. It's going to make it less interesting. And now we're going to start questioning the NBA officials. Like, hey, are you seeing the, the way that this other ref is seeing? The other ref is seeing one way. The other ref is seeing the other way. Like I said, I think it's setting a bad precedent for the NBA for doing this. And I want to know your guys' opinion on this. Obviously, I will make sure to link the article by CBS Sports and see what you guys think of this article and see what you guys think. Will this work in the Summer League? Will this not work in the Summer League? Especially with the new guys coming in, such as Luka Doncic and DeAndre Ayton, could this affect them in their Summer League championship game? Who knows? But all I know is, is that, in my opinion... This will not work for the NBA. There are too many judgment calls in the NBA rather than the NFL and football in Europe or soccer because those have more definitive challenges rather than in the NBA where it's more judgment call. But like I said, I would love to know your guys' opinion of this. Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, this has been your boy Bernie here on The Charge. Give me the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinions. Please remember to hit that like button and also remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel to get more of this daily NBA content. Also, make sure to check out our other videos and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.